Hello everyone, hello my friends, uh, this is Dr. Grace Kinder. First of all, I'd like to thank you, thank you so much for sharing my very first video, for liking and for those who subscribe. I'm really, really grateful. You know what I'm doing is not only for me, but it's for you. Your feedback really motivated me to continue. As I can say in French, merci beaucoup pour tous ceux qui ont vraiment partagé et aimé, qui ont souscrit. For now, I'm going to ask you to subscribe again and again to get more people to know about what I'm doing but because ce que je suis en train de faire c'est pour vous you see we are trying to beat chronic disease and then, as I said in my first video prevention is better so today we're gonna talk about obesity obesity is uh, one of the serious conditions in our lifetime l'obésité comme on dit en français uh, it's not just a cosmetic problem, it's not because you are too fat and then you don't look nice when you look at yourself uh, through a mirror, it's not about it, but it comes with a lot of complications and there are people who actually can die of obesity. Donc uh, c'est un peu ça, stay tuned and then we're gonna talk again. dear people obesity is our first topic first of all let's define obesity obesity is the imbalance between your energy intake versus your energy expenditure so uh, if I say it in French is l'énergie que vous consommez dépasse ce que vous êtes en train de dépenser why did I choose this topic obesity is a serious killer it comes with a lot of complications. It's a leading cause of many metabolic diseases, cardiovascular diseases. I can cite hypertension. I can cite uh, type 2 diabetes. So it can also cause infertility. L'obésité a vraiment beaucoup de complications. Ça peut impacter votre métabolisme. Ça peut causer, um, ça peut jouer vraiment beaucoup uh, dans uh, La survenue du diabète type 2, uh, l'hypertension artérielle, l'infertilité et j'en passe. Now let's talk about the causes. One of the simplest causes that I can cite is when you are not active enough. You are not active enough so you have physical uh, in, uh, inability. Like you don't move. We like now with the, our lifetime now, everything has become easy. We have cars, we have lifts, we don't want to walk. You know, I know certain people, they're still having that fit life. But most of people, they don't want to, to, to walk a lot, to, to move a lot. So this can be a, a risk factor of obesity. Eating too much, eating too much, the way that your body needs, you know. Um, it depends on your gender, it depends on your, your height. So we're not supposed to eat more than what our body needs. There are certain calculations that can be done. I'm not going to talk about it today, but I'm just telling you, if you eat too much than your body needs, all that food that you're eating, the rest of that will be transformed into fat. That's what you see. Most of those obese people, they have such a big tummy. And then, um, another cause is that certain medical conditions. Né? So for those one, I'm not going to cite all, but there are many. I'll give you an example. People with a slow metabolism, those who have hypothyroidism, they do have obesity. Eh? Those who have some hormonal problem, they do have obesity. You know? So medicine also we take like uh, oral contraceptive pills, like corticosteroid can also cause obesity. Stress, reduce sleep. If you eat too much fast food, oily, salty, sugar, and so on, so you're risking your life. How do we calculate that? There's like this factor that we call body mass index, the BMI. A normal BMI is between 18 to um, 24, 25. So anything above 25 to 29,9 is overweight. But more than 30 or equals 30, that's obesity. There are three types of obesity. We go from 30 to 34,9, that type 1, 
and then we go to 35 to 39 comma 9 that type 2 and then more than 40 that what we call morbid obesity so it's a big problem now in our society ok en français je veux dire l'obésité vraiment ça vient avec beaucoup de complications et aussi c'est causé par l'inactivité, euh, la sédentarité, manger beaucoup de fast food, des, des, des trucs qui sont trop sucrés, salés et les gens n'aiment plus vraiment euh, utiliser marcher disons comme je dit en anglais les gens aiment utiliser euh, les, 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 les ascenseurs voilà on ne dort pas assez, on est tout le temps stressé when we are stressed il y a cette hormone qu'on appelle le cortisol. Le cortisol hormone is the one the stress hormone that makes you uh, it makes you fat by like uh, disturbing your appetite. You're gonna be eating too much, and then you'll be storing a lot of what you're eating. You know, and it's all that you're eating. It's gonna be transformed into fat. That's the thing with obesity. So how do we treat obesity? There are non-medical, I mean, the non-surgical ways, and then the surgical ways. I'm not gonna talk about surgical ways because I'm not a surgeon, but we all know about bariatric surgery where you go, they will maybe put a, they will maybe reduce the, the size of your stomach or the baby put a ring to, to reduce the size of your stomach. That's not my specialty, but what I'm doing, guys, I'm all about prevention. Eh? There are things that we can do, all of us, I'm not excluding anyone. Even if you're sitting in the normal range, it's fine, but don't take it for granted. Because the body you don't work out today, you'll be working out for that next if you are not taking it seriously. So, the first thing we need to do is to pay attention to what we're eating. Eh? What we're eating, we, eat, we need to consume less salt, less sugar, less oil drink more water make time to exercise at least three times per week don't just do cardio my dear now you know in um, in the past people used to think lifting weights would make you bulky especially for women but that's not the case you can still lift weight and then you're gonna have uh, more muscles the more muscles you have you're going to burn more fat so En français, je veux dire, il faut aussi soulever les poids. Ne faites pas seulement l'aérobic, les, les cardio, et so on. Faites attention à ce que vous mangez. Évitez de manger trop de fast food. Diminuez la quantité de sucre, de sel, tout ça. Buvez beaucoup d'eau. And then also reduce stress. I know nowadays we are going through a lot. We are going through a lot. There are so many things that can stress us. But we need to work on our mental health, right? So our mental health is a priority now. We don't need to think much, understand? Yeah, you might have stress for your work, kids, your, your family, and so on, but that's not the problem. You need to stress less, sleep enough, at least seven to eight hours. You can switch off the television earlier. Don't stay too late to watch your, your favorite TV shows. Go sleep earlier because the less you sleep, the more cortisol hormone you produce, eh, the more hungry you're gonna feel, you're gonna eat too much. That's not interesting. Eh, je disais, il faut dormir assez. On dit au moins 7 à 8 heures et aussi éviter de rester tard là, regarder la télé. Because when you stay late, you're gonna be snacking, you're gonna be snacking everything like those sweet stuff. You know, that's not gonna help you. So, aussi, um, Moins de stress, travailler sur votre euh, euh, psychologie. C'est vrai, ces derniers temps, c'est pas facile, but you need really, really to pay attention to all of that. We need to fight obesity, because obesity is really killing. And now you can see even kids, you know, as for us parents, we need to pay attention to what we're feeding our kids with. So, il faut vraiment faire attention. La nourriture que nous donnons aux enfants. Don't just go and buy fast food for your kids. Make time to cook, not only for them, but for yourself also. People will say, hey, I'm so busy, I don't have time to cook. Hey, I must go to work and I have to drive long distance. When I come back from work, I'm tired. Yes, I understand that. But can you just take the weekend to meal prep your food? That's gonna save you a lot of time. If you have meal prepped your food, you have your veggies cut, you store them in the freezer, you have maybe your meat already spiced, your fish already prepped, everything. Then when you come after work, you don't have enough, you don't need to, to, to stay for long in the kitchen cooking. Yeah, and also have your bottle of water. Wherever you're going, you, you have your water. Drink water, drink water. Water is very good. It flushes our 
body from from toxins that's the first thing i suggested everyone on my first video when you wake up in the morning don't run to eat don't run for coffee but run for water at least two glasses of water at room temperature low uh, temperature ambient you drink it you, you clean your body and then you can start your day maybe with a hot beverage as i say herbal tea and those herbal tea they are herbal tea like a, a green tea like peppermint tea uh, there are so many teas that i can't cite all of here but these are good for you to revive your body and then you can have your 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 fiber rich breakfast you know so next time i will come with uh, certain meal plans we're gonna discuss about meal plans so how you can do that because i know we receive many questions even when we go to work we tell patient you need to lose weight but i'll tell you doc i don't know how am i gonna do it it's just like cutting down food or what yes it's not easy yes but i'll tell you something um there's this thing i don't really advise people it's about crash diet you know people want to lose weight fast and then they go with uh, with all those sorts of miracle diets miracle pills my friend this is a big lie you really don't need that the only way to lose weight is by eating a balanced diet and then exercising more. Donc, vous devez varier votre alimentation. Yes, I'm not telling you to cut out carbs. I'm not telling you to go to the liquid diet. I'm not talking about intermittent fasting. That is another topic. But I'm just telling you to do things that are sustainable. Don't go for like miracles diets. Don't go for crash diets, restrictive diets. Really, in the long run, you won't succeed. In the long run, you will stop it. Because you know what happens. People might kill themselves. They might push themselves so hard. Like for a month, they say, I'm going to lose 10 kilos. And then they go back and they gain even more. That's what we call the yo-yo effect. To avoid the yo-yo effect. You need to set realistic goals. You say maybe, okay, I'm weighing now 100 kilos. Let's say maybe uh, in a month's time, I want to lose, let's say, 5 kilos. So what you're going to do? Every week, you have to lose at least 1 kilos. And that can even motivate you to go to 1.5. That's realistic. Because you're not going to do drastic, uh, you, you're not going to use drastic ways to lose weight. But you're gonna go by looking first by what you eat, what you need to cut down, what you need to stop completely, and then what you need to bring in. You know, if you 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 were not used to eating healthy, maybe eating more fruit or vegetable, you need to add more vegetables in your diet, include more fibers in your diet, drink more water, exercising. Oh my friend. Donc c'est un peu ça, donc aujourd'hui je voulais parler un peu de l'obésité, euh, en général c'est vrai, c'est vraiment, it's, it's complexe, there are many things we can say about obesity, mais bref, je vous ai dit, je n'encourage pas le régime là, rapide là, où on dit tu vas perdre les kilos en, en 10 jours, tu vas perdre 55 kilos, ah, ah, arrêtez ça, faites des histoires qui sont réalistiques. Commencez un plan que vous allez continuer toute votre vie. Because the moment you start, you don't need to stop. That's why you need to set realistic goals. That's why you need to go for something that you will enjoy your life. You know, um, living a healthy lifestyle is not a punishment. Ce n'est pas une punition. Hein? It's not a punishment. So it's like just a new way né? to live healthy so we can avoid those chronic diseases. We all trying. As I told you, I don't want to be the doctor that only gives you tablets you know i don't want to be the doctor that brings you miracle pills to lose weight or to 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 make hypertension disappear or pain go away no i want you to do like simple simple stuff that you're going to enjoy all your life so thank you so much thank you so much for your time i really appreciate you guys j'apprécie vraiment que vous soyez là à regarder i'm gonna ask you again to share if you like it share it don't forget to subscribe and to hit the, uh, the bell button because we'll be posting our videos every Monday. So stay well, family, and thank you. See you next.